Welcome back guys, this is Immersive Gaming, my name is Luthias, and yes, you guys might think I'm crazy for uploading four videos in one day, but I thought about it, it's quite late here where I am, but I'm liking, you told them you're going to give them an episode a day, and your word is... The word is an important thing, guys. When you tell something you're gonna, when you tell someone you're gonna do something, make make a make a habit of it, of actually doing it. So in any case, here's our bed, here's our chest. We were getting hypothermia, but that went away very very quickly. We were getting hot, okay? Like we had hyperthermia here. Yeah? Hypothermia is when you're getting cold. Hyperthermia is when you're getting hot. And so I took off the jacket and I took off that other little, um, what you call it, the track shoe top. So I took off these two things so that we're not that hot. I only kept what's really, really needed. And um, the saw is definitely a very, very important tool for us to have. I'm not sure if it's that important down the road. What are you doing now? Yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry, that was the Windows key. I'm not sure if it's that important down the road, but you guys must remember we are in single player, okay? And you don't want to eat anything below 60% durability, guys. You don't want to eat anything below 60% durability. So, because we are in single player, guys, you must remember that you can take over any place, okay? Any place. Um, it's not like this on multiplayer, but on single player, you can literally put down a flag wherever you want. Okay. Literally wherever you want. So we can build, we can make this our base. Okay. We can make anywhere our base, but I want to show you guys a nice, a nice base location at the B, uh, B3 castle. You can't make that your base on a multiplayer server. But like I say, we're in single player. Okay. So we can make any place um, our home. So what we're going to be doing now is we wanted screwdrivers. Oh yeah, let, let, me, let me show you guys what cool gear we can get. What cool gear we can get in a police station. Maybe today is the day. Remember last time wasn't our day? And because we, we've got less weight on us now, we can, we can start running around if we want. Okay? So let's see if today is our day. How we can take that so long? Going to show you guys how you can level up all your skills quite quickly. And don't worry guys, this, this guide isn't going to take forever. This is going to be the most advanced crash course you guys have ever experienced in your life. Because I'm going to show you everything very, very quickly. And then I'm going to leave you on your way. As soon as I've showed you everything that I want to show you. Then I want you guys to open your wings and fly and get you know get going with your own adventures and tell me how much fun you're having tell me what you have discovered tell me any tips that you guys have um, discovered while you were playing I just want to give you a really really powerful start and help you to enjoy this game as fast as possible. So I know there's... No, we're not going to focus on that right now. I know there's only six lockers. One, two, three, four. No, there's eight lockers. Six lockers in the cargo drop. But there's... We're going to craft some ammo as well. Um, yeah. Eight lockers in the police station. Six lockers in the cargo drop. And today, if a cargo drop lands on top of us, we're going to go and loot it. Because we're in a single player, and we're here to have fun. So we're definitely not going to ignore the cargo drops. We want to go see what's inside those cargo drops. 
and we want to have fun. Okay. There we go. We only need two more for a cargo drop. I think we're going to save it for a cargo drop, guys, because we know the cargo drop is going to land very close to us. And I think a cargo drop is just going to be a little bit more exciting than a police station. 100% durability. Holy cannoli. That is, a, that, is a, that is a really, really important find. Yes, because you'll, only, you'll always be able to loot a police station on a multiplayer server. But you'll struggle to loot a cargo drop on a multiplayer server because people are going to want to kill you. Okay? People are going to want to kill you on a multiplayer server. So while you're in single player, go check those cargo drops. See how exciting they are. And motivate yourself. Get yourself amped to compete for them one day when you get to a multiplayer server and i have forgotten to put on my timer let's say this video has already been two minutes okay yeah i forgot to put on the timer but that's fine yes baby that's what i'm talking about man persistence persistence is the name of the game quick shooting is the other name of the game fast reactions boltong boltong gives us 12 grams of fat 16 grams of protein per serving that's some good stuff man that's some good stuff and i need to pee pee okay i'm just going to pee now Okay, we've peed. We are happy. Our bladder isn't full anymore. Okay, so now we can wait for the drop. I just need to keep my map open because the drop will always land close to me. So now I want to go to the B2 castle to show you guys a fun little base that I would like to do if I was very invested in single player. And I mostly just do all my tests in single player. I'm what you would say a very hardcore player. So that is east. That's mostly east. Yeah, no, that's basically east. And a little bit south. <clears throat> so that's the direction that we want to go in. <clears throat> and whenever we go over water, and we want to use that opportunity to fill up any bottles that we have, and to drink out of it, physically. Let's just go to this river quickly. Get nice and close to the water. Fill up that lime juice bottle. Fill up the water bottle. And then drink. And we have processed most of the water, all the water that we had now. now. So we're just going to drink three times. Because when we drink, we get 200 milliliters of water. You can see there by the stomach, which is running down. You get 200 milliliters of water when you're drinking directly from a water source. So be very mindful of how much water you're getting when you're drinking from something or when you're drinking directly from something. So you don't waste the water because any water um, that you drink that's more than like um, 500 milliliters doesn't really get used by your body. It's your bladder is going to fill up very quickly, so you're going to waste most of it, which isn't the which isn't the brightest idea in the world. In any case, we're just going to run now to the B to the B three um, castle, which is one, definitely one of my favorite spots. One day when you when you join a multiplayer server, you are going to love the B three castle. Because you can get a hiking backpack there very easily. Like, 
I have to be honest with you guys, if I spawn anywhere near B3, near the B3 castle, I usually sprint for it immediately, because I know I can get most of the gear that I want from this B3 castle, because it is in the top corner of B3. The only reason I show you guys to loot a town first is because most of the places where you're going to start, you're going to be near a town, okay? Definitely not always going to be near a castle. I can promise you that. And now we're not getting that hot because we've got less gear on us. But if you guys are thinking, um, why don't you put a lot of the stuff in the crate? I don't have a good answer for you. But I do know that I am going to get clo other clothing at the B3 castle. And I know I can make another crate at the B3 castle. I can, I can put crates all over the map. Okay, so that my loot is spread out everywhere. And you might say, well, now your loot is spread out. Thing is, guys, we're going to get a car. We're going to get a motorcycle. Okay, so we'll be able to get to our loot very quickly. And once we get a car, we can move the crate into the car. And then put all our crates in one, one place. Okay, you can't... Like all these crates, that one, that one, and that one. All the small crates you can move around and you can put it inside a vehicle with all the loot inside it. You can put like four crates in one vehicle that, and all of them are full. Okay. Um, the only thing that you can't move is these big um, loot lockers, like the improvised wardrobe, uh, the story shelf. Okay. And when you build a base one day on a multiplayer server, you if you want any loot that can't just be carried out of your base, because a lot of the times you can put a, a lock on a, on a chest, but the lock doesn't really help you because if somebody gets into your base on a multiplayer server, they can just drag the crate out of your base, put it in your car, in their car, drive it away to their base, and then one day when they, you know, then lock pick it, at their own pace, uh, you know, if they want to, but these crates, they can't. They can't just drag it away. And if they destroy it, they lose all the loot inside. Okay, so they they are like incentivized to lock pick it. If they want to be bad people, they can destroy your chest. Uh, but I mean, yeah, you want to focus on these two when you build a base so that someone who raids your base can't just can't just carry your your chest away and if you've only got chests bury them bury them with a with a shovel and the reason i've been talking all the time is because i know how f how fast we run how quickly we get we get to this castle and now i'm going to show you what is so absolutely wonderful about this castle guys we might even find a vehicle here. We might even find a vehicle here. And I'm, I'm in the mood for, to fight. The archery skill does level up your bow skill. But sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm just in the mood to, to hit the dude. One, two with my combo and he survived the combo. That is cool, brother. You are tough, man. You are tough. Okay, so maybe we can find a vehicle in here. Who knows? Now, the best thing about the B3 castle is that it's got a lot of lockers lying around here. Okay, so if you move through here, you will find wooden boxes. Okay? Which can have very, very interesting loot in it. Very lucrative loot. And it's a really, really beautiful place. That's one thing I must say. This place is absolutely beautiful. So we walk through here and all these towers have got like three, three layers which can give you loot as well. But I just want to show you the wooden boxes quickly like here. These wooden boxes can give you really nice loot surprisingly. And there's that little um, spade that I told you about, which you can pick up and bury your chest with. Okay, so that you don't have to craft um, a spade every single time. You can craft a spade, but I mean, you know, 
when you find that one, you don't have to craft it. And I have found pistols with 100% durability, revolvers with 100% durability, thread. I'm telling you guys, man, this, the B3 castle is the starting place for champions. And where we gonna, where are we gonna build our base? Remember, you can't do, you can't do this on a multiplayer server. Oh my freaking goodness. We, ladies and gentlemen, because we are playing to have fun, we are building our base right in the middle of this freaking castle, guys. Right in the middle of this castle. We are planting our flag down here. And we have just found a vehicle. Like I told you guys, we will find a vehicle, man. Now let me show you what I wanted to show you. Okay. Now... This thing needs fuel. Okay, so we have a fuel station down there below. I think that's a fuel station. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hmm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know that's a fuel station. I think that fuel station is a bit closer. But in any case, let's just see. I know this thing doesn't have a lot of battery life, but we took basic driving. Now, if we didn't have basic driving, then this little bit of battery life would have probably made it so that we can never get this car out of here. But because we took basic driving, we are not going to suck at it. And we will literally be able to drive this car out of here. Don't die on us. Okay, you've got, you've got forward motion. You don't have forward motion anymore. Come on. Okay, you just, we just have to keep this car going. Because while we're driving it, we're building up the battery life. Okay, the battery is our biggest problem here by a mile with the, with the handling. That is our biggest problem. And now, because we want to have fun, we can press J. Ah, yeah! We are having fun. We are having fun. And I'm drifting, guys. You don't. Uh, it's. I, I don't know why I'm drifting with this broken car, but I just can't help myself. I love pressing the spacebar key to drift, but it's not. Oh, there I have to drift. Oh my word. So you can, you can press the brake key if you don't want to lose the vehicle, guys. But we are yet to have fun, boys. We are yet to have fun. Wait, 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 wait. We want to go south. Yeah. We have fun. We want to have fun. We want to go to that drop. Which is west. Woo-hoo-hoo-wee! Oh! Woo-wee-wee! <laughs> Come on, car. Fire up! Yeah! Whoa-whoa-whoa-whoa! Whoa-whoa-whoa!
kill or be killed. That's how it works here on Scum Island. My name is John Dick, and I'd like to invite you to join us as our prisoners mutilate each other for fun and prizes. We've got some interesting events for you to check out. Try your hand at Deathmatch. Interesting Deathmatch. That sounds interesting, bro. We're a little bit busy now. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys. It's cargo drop time. Can we get the car into the image as well? I don't know. In any case, there's the thumbnail. Hello, sir. Now we take out... We've already got one lockpick, so we only need to take out five bobby pins. And now we can go craft the lockpick. And now we can press Alt C five times. Okay. And now we've got five lockpicks. We want six. There's the six. And just press Alt. If your guy like is stuck looking somewhere, just press Alt to unlock it. We haven't got any gloves on. I think we did start with a basic theory skill. So this will be very, very easy. You press spacebar to start the game. You move the lockpick in various directions with the mouse. And then you press F to try and turn the lock. If the lock doesn't turn, you move your mouse again to get the lockpick to a different spot until it moves. And then it will have a sweet spot where it moves completely. Okay? And you guys will need to practice that. Okay, so as soon as it moves, if it stops, I go up or down a little bit just to get to the sweet spot. Okay? Not moving, not moving. Moving, a little bit down, a little bit down. Okay? If I go down and, and it gets stuck even earlier, then I know I must go up. Okay? Mm? There it's moving. Okay, we're in the right direction. We're going to go down more. Okay, so I'm just going to slow it down for you guys. So, no, 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 yes. Whoa, you see? That's a very slow method. And then one day, when you understand how it works, you can just do it a little bit faster. Waste it. <laughs> we only have six screwdrivers. Okay. Who? Not anymore. We don't have six screwdrivers anymore, and we definitely don't need that thing anymore because we don't need to break into any lockers because breaking into lockers is boring. It's boring. Okay. Um, and we don't want to do any boring stuff. We don't want to do any boring stuff. And now we've got a lot of loot here. Okay, so we can just throw this out so long. We can throw that out so long. Hmm, two of the same. Oh, baby, we have got a bow, a 60-pound bow. That is, that is, that is some exciting stuff, man. That is some exciting stuff. And of course, this bow, I'm definitely not going to throw away those arrows. I'll throw away the wounded arrows. This bow comes with broadhead carbon arrows, which are the best arrows in the game. And it comes with bow silencers. And then later we can go get that stabilizer, okay, to use the stabilizer. We're not going to look like Robin Hood, guys. But you can look like Robin Hood. So this, war, this is an absolutely fantastic drop so far. We have got night vision, which is even cooler. Okay. And now what we can do is we can go to our car. Just be careful that we don't lose the car. And our radio is on. Oh my word, we left the radio on. Turn radio off. Because that radio just drained the, drained the little bit of battery power that we had left. That was actually ridiculously stupid. That was actually ridiculously stupid. I don't like calling myself ridiculously stupid. But since I'm trying to um, help you guys here, I have to tell you guys that that was ridiculously stupid. 
draining a vehicle with very little battery power is extremely stupid and now we can use this car as a temporary loot yeah as a temporary loot um space as a temporary base we can use it as a temporary base and we've got bread so that we can eat and yeah you every day you play or if you play a little bit longer you'll get a cargo drop and we've got the six screwdrivers now we've got enough bobby pins we don't actually need more than one of these because they okay we do for the lock protection and for that and for c4 okay we need you do get electric tools a big electric tools but let's take this as well the only reason i use it is for the practice bomb to level up my demolitions okay so that's the main reason for me using it this thing you're going to use for uh improvised workbench so you don't have to go look for someone for some for a workbench but i mean guys there are such a lot of freaking workbenches on the map you know it's not really really necessary uh we're not gonna take the cool glasses we just want to make sure we don't leave anything we re those gloves are look, look those gloves look cool man why leave gloves <sighs> no we're not gonna look like robin hood we want to have fun but not that much fun not that much fun now because we've got a medium bow skill guys we will be able to use this bow if we did not have a medium bow skill we wouldn't be able to use this bow and our battery is going to be flat yep <sighs> you are officially fired from helping people in this game and you're on an uphill why did you park you know you start the car easier on a downhill bro why did you park on an uphill oh my word okay so now we've got an abandoned car guys we have literally got an abandoned car that will probably get destroyed by that cargo drop when it bolts. <laughs> <That's laughs> oh, that's funny. That will probably get destroyed by that. By that drop. Now, because we're in a single player, guys, I'm just going to do this once. That was a stupid mistake, okay? But I'll only do this once. So we press T. We go hash. Uh, hash. What the hell? Shift. Three. Hash. S. Go to spawn item. Space. And we type in battery. Okay? That was a stupid mistake. It wasn't supposed to happen. So now we've spawned in a battery, okay? Just so that we can charge this vehicle quickly, okay? We could, I could have got, to go and looked for another battery, but we would have lost the car, you know, and that would have put, that would have lost us some time, okay? And like I said, I want this to be the fastest crash course. So remember, don't waste your battery. Remember the value of that of those nine volt batteries. Remember the value of normal batteries. Okay, and now we're gonna have to get to a gas station. So let's just get to a gas station quickly.
Okay, so when the car starts burning and you don't have a vehicle repair kit, boys. <laughs> when the car starts burning, you drive like an idiot. This is what's going to happen. The car's going to set on fire. You can't see the fire if you're in first person. So driving in third person helps when you see your car is low durability. Okay, so now the battery that we spawned in doesn't matter. We would have lost our vehicle when the cargo drop exploded. And now we lost our car in any case. Okay. But we will find another car. And we wanted to go to the B3 car. So what's the time now? Guys, I think it's time. In the next episode, we're going to be looting the B3 castle. I'm going to show you some really, really cool loot in the B3 castle. Then from the B3 castle, we're going to go to this uh, boot camp here. We're going to play with some megs, show you what great loot hangers has inside it. And then we are going to go to the quarries to get some vehicle repair kits so that what just happened doesn't happen again. And then hopefully get a get a vehicle at the quarries as well. I do believe, I think we will find a vehicle at, at the quarries. Okay. But if you enjoyed this episode, we thought that was funny. I look like a Mohican with with like with like a bow on me. I look freaking awesome, man. If you did enjoy the video, remember to click the like button. If you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, click that sub button. And I will see you guys tomorrow. And I will always keep my word. Even if I upload three videos a day. Even if I'm tired. I will give you a video a day, guys. I will make it a point to stick to my word. I think it's a good idea if you guys start focusing on that as well in your lives. Cheers.